From time to time, we've mentioned cymatics. It's a wonderful field. It seems to be a science about external experiments in a laboratory when we see it. But actually, it's the science of vibration. So it's really just a charting of what's already present everywhere in the universe. There's vibration and oscillation everywhere. And our breath is one of those ongoing manifestations of how the universe breathes in a network of wonderfully breathing patterns. Again, look at the waves behind me, breathing in and breathing out. Every system in the universe is in a pattern of breath. Have you ever thought of the winds as the breath of the earth? A geophysicist named John Wascom worked for NASA. He was a great emissary scientist and he gave a talk called The Earth is Alive. In it, he said, I've got parents, you've got parents. Do you suppose the earth has parents? And then he'd hold up a small rock and say, do you suppose this rock has parents? And if you use time-lapse photography, sure enough, you can see rock formations change over time. And the earth is constantly changing. In fact, another scientist, James Lovelock, who is credited with the, the Gaia hypothesis, some call it Gaia hypothesis, in which David's emphasis upon the importance of atmosphere comes out. James Lovelock talked about the many spheres, the atmosphere, the newosphere, the stratosphere, it's not so important what all these big words mean as that they're all breathing. The earth is alive. They're all interconnected. You've got parents, I've got parents. The earth and everything we know has a mother God and a father God that has breathed life into us. So this large interactive group of spheres, as we identified, is actually a larger breath pattern. And we have an amazing confluence of forces and powers constantly breathing in and breathing out. 